So where are we now? Uh, so we are at London Medical Center. And which city is this in? Uh, it's in uh, Kiambu. Kiambu? It's, yeah, it's in Kiambu. Okay. Kiambu. Kiambu. Kiambu, and that, that's the little center, I guess. Exactly, the yeah. That's the, the, shop, the shopping center. Yeah. And what, yeah. Is, Kiate, what does that mean? So, uh, a long time ago, I think there was... Uh, okay, when I was born, this is the story that I, I, I used to hear about this place. Yeah. So, there was, there was, there was a white uh, foreigner who actually got lost. Okay. Along, along this route, eh? mm -hmm. so the woman when he asked, "Where are we?" Yeah. No, he, he actually saw some monkeys. Yeah, he saw, he saw some monkeys. So in in Kikamba or rather in Kamba, Kikamba is a is actually a, it's a tribe. Yeah. So most of most of this place, Kamba's uh, it's actually highly populated with with, with with Kamba community. So the woman he asked one like, "What's that?" The Kamba told the foreigner, "Ngole, Ngoleva." Ngoleva meaning that it's a monkey. And yeah, so so it's called monkey. Yeah, it's called monkey. This place. <laughs> it's called monkey. Yeah. Okay, monkey. Nice. Yeah. So this lantern, lantern medical. Center. And is this your medical? Yes, yeah, this is my medical facility. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, one and a half years old. Okay. Yeah, and it has actually served. I would say it has actually it has, it has, it has had its own benefit to, to this particular community. Yeah. So before this, was there no medical? Facility? No, we have one just across. We have a health center just across. Mm. But you see now, uh, government health centers uh, is at one. They are only short of medical services in yeah. terms of uh, they're not too, they're not uh, have capacity. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or rather, well equipped. So I think we work in line with the with the medical with the, with the government medical center. Because like most of them, uh, if they need the la a lab test, they are normally sent to this facility. Oh, okay. If they need drugs that are not in the in the in the in the, in the government facility, they are sent here. Okay. Yeah. So you said here you do the so uh, ultrasound, right? Yes, ultrasound. And then and the eye have, vision. Uh, yes, and also an optical room. Because for ultrasound, we have the machine, so all the images are paid. Mm, mm, so mm. we can we also use this bed for, for the same purpose. Mm. And uh, whenever we have maybe like uh, a patient, because like we have two consultation rooms. Mm. So the moment we have like an influx or something, uh, or maybe like a patient who needs maybe to stabilize. So this is where we, we actually keep them for the disability as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay, wow, great. The lab. So the, most of the testing is normally done. Ah, oh, okay. So you print on that. Yes, and the printer test the machine. Yes. So this is it's called a hematology machine. Okay. So uh, it's actually uh, bought at seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand. Seven thousand. Yeah, so expensive. Yeah. dollars. So is, seven hundred thousand. Yeah. That is so expensive. Yeah, yeah. So what it does? It does. It, it does a complete blood count. So it can tell your white blood cells, your HB, your red blood cells. Your red diseases, your platelets. Can I test for HIV and like for no, 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 COVID no. and everything? No, yeah, no. From this, from whenever like if someone has a flu or something or they have like an infection, yeah, you're able to tell from 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 the results. So you use the machine to just identify if it's bacterial or not. Yeah, but so you can you don't misidentify. Exactly. But because what what happens uh, in most facilities that are not not only well equipped. Or other machine that maybe if a person that don't have this particular machine, that is if a patient comes with an infection, they are normally they are kept straight on antibiotics. So, now, so they come in, they feel bad, and they just get antibiotics. antibiotics and yeah. you don't know if it's actually bacteria yeah, but or, or viral. Or if viral. it's viral, if it's bacteria, that's a new actually yeah. prescribe the, the antibiotics. If it's viral, you actually treat yeah. the, the symptoms. Now, what that does it's 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 harmful because you tend to become resistant to yeah, multi resistant. These facilities as a community are very needy because most of them are in the middle mm -hmm. and lower middle class. Low income, yeah. So what do you do even uh, matters finances is actually a challenge to them because most of them don't have don't have like 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 like, like money or rather they have the finances. So what you do, we tend to work with them. For example, if maybe someone has half half the money, we can give them maybe like half the dose. They know before they clear the clear the dose they can as well even come and Okay. Come and pay, but of course there are some who we uh, who we trust. We can we give them we can also give them the drugs on credit. Okay, okay. We can give them drugs, but of course when we do that, we we'll also we we'll also come and pay back. So. Okay, okay. Beans and uh, beans and maize. Yeah. Okay, so you, so your father plants all of this. Yes, 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 yes. So okay, wow. it's actually one acre. Mm. So yeah, it's up to. So this is to be uh our this to be our our, our old home. Mm. Yeah. 
So I think we, I was actually born here, born in Nairobi, but yeah. most of my young life I, I grew up here. Then we shifted to Nairobi, because we also have another apartment in Nairobi. Okay, okay. So when, 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 my, when my father retired, he actually came, he actually came to this place to, to do farming and, and now settle down. Ah, so he retired yeah, he back said, to the farm. Exactly. Have a calm life. Yeah, yeah. Calm and simple life. Yeah. See? Yeah, and I have a little friend over here. A little dog? Yeah. Nice. He's two months old. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken. The cup. The cup. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Silva, Silva. Hello. It's a German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> so there were the two goats yes. or your dad? No, there are actually four of them. Four goats, okay. So we have one, two, and uh, three. I don't know where, where the fourth one is. And why do you tie them to the stone? So that it, they don't actually go into, they go and destroy other people's crops. Right, right. Yeah, because it's like, 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 like those ones. Yeah. They actually farm them. So and the moment they are yeah. actually untied, they can get in and destroy the crops. And, and do these uh, farmers, is this what they live off of? Yeah, yeah, yeah most of them are uh, actually f uh, foot and mouth. So basically... Hand to mouth. Hand to mouth, yeah. So yeah. Hand to mouth. So basically whatever they, they'll get, they'll try to sell. Mm. Get something small, just maybe to keep them keep them moving. Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite a challenge to most of them. And that's why I was actually forced to, 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 to open the facility. Because mm. now you can imagine if most of them can't afford basic, basic medical health care. Yeah. You can now imagine the lives that will be lost in this particular community. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, a, that, that's the initiative I took. And yeah. Do they have small businesses as well? Like yeah, micro? SM? Okay, not, not all, not all seeds, but the ones who are fortunate mm. enough, some are, like if you can see over there, yeah. I think they are small shops. Small shops, right. Yeah. But they try, so they start, try to sell to each other. Or something. Yeah, yeah, they can, yeah, they can sell to each other. Maybe like crops, or as soon as they harvest, or even because most of them even even have chickens. Chickens. So when they lay eggs. So there's some trading with them. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But again, it's it's within within the within the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there's not much. Yeah, I mean, some people can sell some T-shirts and they buy from each other or what. Or do not, they not, not really? really. I think I think what uh, what they do. So you see the shopping center, right? Yeah. So most of them go for mitumba, those are second hand clothes. Second hand clothes. Yeah. yeah. So they can they come with them. They buy them from from Nairobi and yeah. they come now to sell them to the locals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, everyone here does everyone have a phone here or like yeah. do they have smartphones? Yeah. I was telling you, ironically, everybody has access to a smartphone. Like even even the sorry, yeah, hand to mouth farmer. Exactly. Even even the, the, the hand to mouth. Even even for the people who are watching surviving or whatever, they farm on the farm. Yeah. Everybody has a smartphone. Mm. Maybe very very few of them will actually maybe you will they, they don't have a smartphone. But again in their in that homestead you mm. won't like someone who has a smartphone. Okay, yeah. so they will access to someone yeah. who will have it. Exactly. And they have do they have I mean electricity, electricity. Yes, 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 yes. Toilet, yeah, toilet. every they are, they are actually electricity cables. So yeah, every every home set has is connected to electricity. So it's quite good here still. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean good, yeah. at least here there's like 4G or internet. So. Yeah, there's 4G, and then and, and another thing is that most people don't don't pay rent because it's actually the their land. Yeah. So even the expenses are. are oh, the expenses minimal, are low. Yeah, are quite yeah, minimal. Yeah. But then if the rain doesn't come, then it becomes yeah, it really becomes tough. Hard, yeah. But actually most of them survive, survive, with, uh, survive with a dollar, a dollar a day. A dollar a day? Yeah, a dollar a day. Mm. Yeah.